Hey, what's up, guys? Yo, Mohammed, bro. I'm in Dubai, man. I left my shoes in Cali. I gotta get some kicks for my trip, bro. Where should I pull up to? Don't worry, bro. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I know. Just the thing. I'll see you then. Bet. Hola, hola, guys. Welcome to Mad Kicks. Today, we have a special guest, one of the best sneakerheads in the world, in the US, actually. We have guys with over 4 million on social media. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited. How are you and how's everything? I'm good. Having a good time here in Dubai and uh, had to pull up, maybe buy some shoes and, you know, check out what you guys got here at well, Mad so Kicks. I'm so glad that you came here. You yeah. came to the right place. Yeah, you know, I made a few calls and uh, my boy Mohammed said I got to pull up to Mad Kicks. So shout out to Mohammed. Shout out to Mohammed from here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Today we're going to have some questions for you. Okay. And then we have a small game, special for you. And see how it's going to go. All right, let's do you it. You ready? I'm hyped. Let's, let's go. So guys, when did you start to love the hype sneakers? And when did you decide to make it like your job as a content creator? I've always been into sneakers. I think around like the two, early 2000s, I got into like fashion in general, like just wanting to have like cool clothes and sneakers. So it's always like, you know, it goes hand in hand. So early 2000s, I got into shoes. Collecting, I got into collecting shoes maybe like 2012, 2013, once I had like actual job and I could buy my own shoes. But as far as like the hype shoes was like around the same time that I started putting sneakers into my YouTube content, which was like 2015, 2016. I started doing sneaker content on YouTube and that's what really took my channels to the next level. And I was able to buy the hype stuff and make videos about it, so. It's like a dream come true. So start it together like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, so. So now we see a lot of people pretending to be a sneaker heads on social media because they own like some hype shoes. What do you think about that? Uh, I don't mind it. I think sneakers have become a lot more mainstream and popular. So non sneaker heads, you know, they want the cool shoes that they see on TikTok or whatever it may be. But it's just cool to be able to go outside and see a bunch of people wearing shoes versus a few years back, you go outside and you'd see one shoe. You know what I mean? And you, you know that person was a sneaker head, but now it's like, all right, you see people wearing, you know, Panda Dunks or Jordan 1s and you're just like, oh, they just like the shoe. And who's so, the real sneaker head? Who's probably. the real sneaker head? Yeah, from your opinion. Um, I mean, it's hard to tell because again, there's so many people wearing it, so you don't know. But I guess you could kind of see who's a real sneaker head. You just, if you walk up to them and compliment their shoes, if they give you like a, a response back about the shoe, then you know they're an actual sneakerhead. You know, if somebody compliments my shoes and I would be like, yeah, these are this shoe and then they'll know about it and you can talk to him. I don't think I could spot a sneakerhead from, you know, just looking at them, but if you can conversate with them, you can find to out. To know about, more about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't judge people who don't know about their <laughs> shoes. You know, I'm not gonna be like, oh, you're not a sneakerhead in person, so. It is what it is. That's a cool shoe. Can you tell me more about it? Yeah, these are the Oregon 3 PEs, the Tinker version. I just picked these up right before we came to Dubai off my guy Chow, who's here with us. You know, he's the plug for all the PEs. And I try to stay away from the PEs just because I've had some bad history with PEs. I buy them and then Jordan ends up selling a version that looks like it. So I try to stay away from them, but I've been itching to buy a pair. So I just picked these up and uh, yeah. I really like the color. I love them. They're so, like I put them on feet and I just fell in love with them. And you can take the swoosh off too so it comes with the different swooshes so you can change ah, the cool. color so we can have four shoes in yeah, one yeah exactly <laughs> literally so you wear it with different outfits but we did that so yeah something light today you know it's crazy <laughs> What's the sneaker deal that you regret the most? I regret a lot of deals that I've done because one thing that I do is I go through shoes a lot. So like if I get sick of a shoe, I'll sell it and get another shoe. So there's a few shoes that I've bought in for low prices that have gone up in price. One of them was the Spike Lee Jordan 1s, a very rare shoe that I bought for about $1,800. They were too big on me, so I never wore them. So I ended up selling them back to the guy that I bought them from for the same price. But a couple years later, that shoes were thirty thousand dollars wow. <laughs> so i could have made a lot of money off that shoe if i would have kept it but other than that like i have bad luck too with i know we talked about pe's but like a few pe's that i bought ended up releasing like i mentioned so that's always a regret is buying those shoes because they're so expensive and then they come out and the value goes down or everybody has them so uh, i've definitely taken a few l's but you know there's so many shoes coming out that you just got to keep moving on to the next one you know yeah sure so before we go to the game that we made for you yeah what's your sneaker rotation now 
now. Oh, right now? Yeah. Um, I'm wearing the Drake Air Force Ones a lot. Those are very heavy in my collection. New Balance 2002 R's protection pack. I'm, I'm getting older, so I need more comfy stuff. <laughs> my knees are getting weaker. So Jordan 1 Lost and Founds like you're wearing. Those are in the rotation, of course. I beat those up a lot. So I brought those on, on my trip here. And uh, I wear slides a lot and I rotate between my slides, Yeezy slides, Dior slides. I have like some other Adidas slides too because I want to be comfortable. And then I'm trying to look out on the walls to see what else I have that I wear a lot. For sure, a lot, yeah. Mina, what else do I wear a lot? Yeah, she hit it. Okay. <laughs> she said a lot of ugly shoes. Wow. <laughs> All right, wow, shots fired. <laughs> Yeah, I wear a lot of dad shoes. I like the dad shoe, but I'm getting older. I'm not a dad yet, but let me get ready. You know what I'm saying? Have the shoe rotation going. <laughs> Grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> I had level. Damn. All right. Yeah, I said I did it with New Balance in there, but Jordan One. Like I always wear Jordan One. Oh, Jordan One lows. What's the low that I've been wearing? Phantom Blacks. The pink ones. Um, I, for me, it's like. It goes every week is different, but you the mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever I'm in the mood in. But for me, the, the Lost and Founds, Drake Air Forces, some slides and a pair of New Balances for like guaranteed to that I'm going to wear them during the week. So cool. For now, we'll go for the game. Yeah, see how we win I don't even it. know what this game is, but I'm excited. It's special for you. <laughs> I'm going to win. Let's get it. Here we came to the game. Yeah. It's very easy. Yeah. You don't have to guess what's truth. I'm an expert at this. So I but don't cheat from the mirror there. I'm not, I'm not. It's easy work for me. I'll close my eyes too. Let me know when to go. You can go now. Jordan. Mm. Travis Scott. Stash pocket. Easy giveaway. Now it's just got to figure out the colorway. Yeah. It's definitely suede. So it's the brown pair. Hold on, hold on. They only did two high tops. So it's either brown and fragment. Fragment is leather. This is the brown pair. Too easy, man. Come on, step it up. I didn't come to Dubai for this easy stuff. Give me something harder. Next shoe, come on. Here we came for the next one. All right, you stepped it up. It's a bit harder. It's a yeah. bit harder. Can I go? Yeah. All right. Air Force One mid for sure. Fat tongue, it's an LV, come on now. Maybe not, all right? You're laughing, Maybe. he's giving it away. No, tassel right there is definitely an LV. Uh, but now it's, I gotta think, you guys only had the graffiti mids. There's no white top mids, so it's graffiti mids. Come Ooh. on, man. Come on now, how easy is it? Come on. Harder, up, right. Level up, level up. All right. Can I start? Ready? Yeah. Jordan 4. All right, I thought it was an Alma Meniere, but I don't feel the little bowl. It's good materials. It's a good Jordan 4. Ooh. You feel that? Yeah, I see. You see that? <laughs> I right, but I still, I'm not 100% sure. You see that? You feel it? Yeah. Is it on the toe too? Off-white 4. 4, yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Hello? Yeah. Hello. I was looking for a handbag. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. It smells good. If you guys are smart, you guys should do dunks because I'm not a dunk guy. All right, All come right. on now. Okay. All right, so Air Force for sure. So it's all about the colorway now at this point. So we got how many Air Forces? Oh, the green pair has like a certain spots have like that textile material on it i can't remember where on the shoe has it the tongue yeah the tongue of that one so it's not the green one because i believe the tongue on that one is more textile this is either the black or the white or could be a uh, museum one damn it oh okay how am i supposed to guess the colorway on this one <laughs> you have to be <laughs> Try. <laughs> I'm trying to think what I saw in the store. I did, I did see a, the Ohio State colorway one, but I don't know what the name of that one is. So it's Sorry, getting it harder. Like you're struggling a little bit. There. No, because <laughs> there's a lot of versions of this, but uh, I'm trying to think like what could give it away. Is there like any special type? Okay, no, okay. So the lot ones have holes in the tongue. No, they don't, but they have a different material. So this isn't a lot. This is one of the three, either the Michigan, the green or the red and gray. And I think I saw a red and gray, so. Uh -huh. So. So, do I wanna just, the leather's really nice. Yeah, this is definitely one of the three colors. I don't think it's a lot, because yeah, the lots had holes in the tongue. 
I, I literally have to guess this one, so I'm gonna go red and gray, uh, red and gray, off white dunk. <coughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> she lost. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'll be here till Wednesday. Thank you. I did? Okay, well, you know what I meant. Okay, let's start with this one. All right. Let's see it. I'm worried that it's a easy, but. Uh, uh, no. Air Force, I think. No, no, Babesta. Yeah, Babesta is a little bit wider, I think. And it, it's patent leather, so. Oh, the star. Yeah, this is a Babesta. But I don't think they have any. What's right here? Damn, man. Yeah, this is a hard one. What is, I just got to figure out what this logo is. It's not easy. Okay, it's not a Marvel one because this is not patent on the toe. Now I just got to figure out. See, I don't know too many babes does. I know a few, but. I know they did the. This is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard, man. <laughs> if it's just a babe head, then how am I supposed to guess the colorway? The dunks oh. had a lot of things guess okay patent leather babes they did uh i'm sure they've done like a i want to say like a black and white panda colorway or something right no. hey, i got close though <laughs> i know they, there's no way you can get you cannot guess the colorway but i got the shoe though yeah, for sure. i just felt this was too wide and then originally i was going to say the the dubai ones that you just showed me um, and then I thought it was Marvel, but then I felt this, that it wasn't. I didn't even feel the lace lock. I say 50% to go to the right. I think point. I still get the point. Judges, do I get the point or no? Yeah? yeah. yeah. Colorway would have been too hard. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. All right, no more, I'm retiring. No more, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> You have a size 10 in these? Hello? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, size 10? Let me check out a size 10. I'm gonna try size those 10. on. Yeah. Yeah, uh, in okay. a minute, huh? Okay. Right. Let me just get up here. Okay, right. sounds good. You have that size 10, rookie of the year? Or you look you want a seven? You have a seven in that? Men's seven or no? That's the only one. Yeah, actually, I believe we have. Let me just check the oh, size. Really? Yeah, let me just check it. Thank you. So how do you want to pay it, sir? In card or cash? Uh, I think I got some cash, actually. That should be good right there. Yeah. Thank you. I received 4000 Yeah. And then by any chance, may I have your email address? We'll be sending the receipt through your email. Perfect, perfect. All done, sir. Thank you All so right, thank much. Thank you, boss. Appreciate thank you. It. Have a good day, sir. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, guys, for having me. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, I had a good time. How was the game? Dominated the game, undefeated, in my opinion, and the judges. Did very well, the judges said it was undefeated, so. Yeah, five. You're yeah. on the highs for I now. I had a good time, though. Store's dope, so thank Hope you for having me. Hope to see you soon me. again here. Yes, of course, of course. Soon. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See you for the next one.